Hello and welcome back to our practice. Today I'd like to give you a little bit of more insight into the difference between Chinese medicine and Western medicine. Now, when we look at both Chinese medicine and Western medicine, there's a few things we're looking at. One, the physiology. The physiology is the same for Chinese and Western medicine. When we look at the anatomy, it's the same. But when we start and we look at the focus, it is different. The focus for Western medicine is to help prevent acute problems from occurring. In Western medicine, it's to look at traumas and also to decrease morbidity. While when we look at the focus of Chinese medicine, it's to help the health improve of the patient. When we look at Western medicine, certain blood tests will be done and a lot of those blood tests will come back as normal even though you might feel terrible. And the reason for that is, is that Western medicine is focused on disease oriented problems and it doesn't look as in Chinese medicine, which we'll get to in a moment, at what the underlying causes most of the time. So Western medicine started about 1,200 um, in the year 1200 and what they were focusing on is actually helping pre people preventing serious death like the black plague and things like that and during that time people's average lifespans were in their cities so they were focusing on just making sure a person actually didn't die of some horrible disease at that time at the same time or even way before because Chinese medicine is 3000 year old the focus was on health and longevity. And what happens is the Chinese doctors looked at the emperors and the warlords to keep them healthy and robust. And typically the Chinese were even um, growing old until in their 60s at that stage. So the focus is very much shifted. In Chinese medicine, the focus is also shifted to the reason. What is the cause that a person's not well? Because if we can treat the reason, we are able to understand what's caused the imbalance and then we can be successful in our treatment. Now, in Chinese medicine, what we look at when there is a problem, there's four things that are of very great interest to us. One, it's called the qi or interpreted as the oxygen. The other impact is the blood and how the blood is flowing. The next one is the organ system. What is the organ doing and the function of the organ? And then lastly, what is the function of the nervous system? When we take into account all of those things, we can have good health. What happens is a child of three years old, that can fall nearly 3,000 times and hardly hurt or injure themselves. As we get older, we fall and we can really injure ourselves. And the reason is the blood that is not flowing so well and the oxygen that's not getting to the tissues. So with Chinese medicine and acupuncture, we focus on improving the blood flow, the oxygenation, the organ function and the nervous system. When we start to age, the blood flow in our body, it's estimated that it drops to by 30%. By 30%. So if you've got a lack of blood flow, you're not going to be able to heal in the body the sufficient way that it needs to be. So Chinese medicine, the focus is on the reason you have the problem and then how are we going to solve it with these four factors. Now, if you think of Western medicine, it treats the symptom. So you might feel better, you've got a headache, you take a headache tablet, you feel better. But as soon as the medicine's out of your system, the symptom, i.e. the headache, comes back again. We, and our focus is to say, you've got this problem of the headache, where is it coming from? Let's treat the reason, which yes, it might take longer, but in the long run, you're not going to be dependent on medicine. We want to sort this problem up, out for you. So for today, the difference between Chinese medicine and Western medicine. But please note, Chinese medicine can also treat acute problems like a sore throat, fever, duration, any kind of problem like that as well. So don't just think of it as chronic medicine, but definitely the strength of Chinese medicine is also to do with your chronic medicine. 
I hope you enjoyed this session and I look forward to seeing you in the next session.